Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at a more difficult example uh, of the, using the theorem of Pythagoras. And I have a question here. I'm asked to find the length EC. Well, I have a cuboid with length 8, width 5, and height 10. Now, EC is this length here from E at that back corner to C at that front corner. That length there. Now, there's no way that I can directly find C. If I was to make a triangle out of this, it would go up here, down along CG, but then it would go back GE. So, in order to find EC, I first need to find EG. Okay, so let's calculate the length of EG. First, I'm going to sketch what... Uh, this triangle looks like. So I have E, G, H. And this is a right angle. H, G is 8. H, E is 5. And this is what I want to find, X. So X squared is equal to 8 squared plus 5 squared x squared equals 64 plus 25, which is equal to 89. So x is equal to the square root of 89. So that means eg is equal to root 89. Now I'm just going to leave it in third form there like that. I'm not going to simplify it. I'm not going to write it as a decimal. I'm just going to leave it as square root 89. Now I can use this to find my length EC. So I'll draw this triangle here now. Okay, so this is GCE. Now the length EG I just found is root 89. The length GC is 10. And now this one here is my unknown. I'll call it y this time so we don't get confused with x. So I'm solving for y. y squared is equal to 10 squared plus root 89 squared. So y squared is equal to 100 plus the square root of 89 squared is just 89. So y squared is equal to 189. That means y is equal to the square root of 189. The square root of 189, you can put it into your calculator and get it as a decimal. Or you can simplify it in third form. y is equal to the square root of 189 is 9 by 21. So that is 3 root 21. Or if you want to write it as a decimal, y is equal to 13.75. That's correct to two decimal places. So you can see what we did in this question. We need we wanted to know this length here, the internal diagonal. In order to get that, we had to find the diagonal on the bottom face first, and then use that to find the internal diagonal. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.